very warm welcome to you. It's June from Mavstar. Guys, I've got to be very careful here what I say because I don't want people jumping to the conclusion on, on the back of what I'm about to say, but there is a significant change in the daily rotational orbit of the magnetic pole. Yeah, that's the one that, you know, in a 24 hour period, we usually get a little wonder. Well, the wonder is increasing in the distance uh, over the 24 hour period. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is obviously there has been a large uptick recently in the amount of floods around the tropic regions of our planet. Now we know that we're getting an increase in the 24 hour rotation of the earth on the wobble of the magnetic north pole. Uh, at first when we was looking at the data, I thought it was just random uncertainties. You know, sometimes the magnetometer uh, will uh, sorry, the TriMag system will pick up um, other interference in when it collects a transmission, but it's easy to spot in the filtered uh, data. We can filter the uncertainties out. But they're becoming more and more frequent. And the reason why I was filtering them out, because I was thinking, no way could that, um, or, you know, that, that rotation in a 24-hour period be bringing up numbers like it is. There's nothing wrong with the TriMag system. Yes, it does sometimes pick up interference, and that is very easy to detect in the data when you're going through it, through the filters. So we can eliminate that. But there is a noticeable change in the rotation over a 24 hour period. That wonder is increasing. Now, getting back to the South Atlantic anomaly, we know that this is the weakest magnetic field in the region on our planet. And we know it's been expanding and it is slowly starting to split in two over Africa right now as we speak. For that reason, I believe we're getting a larger amount of cosmic rays inbound in that region into our planet and it's ending up in the tropical jet streams. And when we get a frag fragmentation over the northern hemisphere of our planet, so that the polar jet stream comes down, hits that tropical region of warm, moist air. And because we've got more cosmic rays in that region, in the jet stream or the upper atmosphere, it's setting up cloud seeding or condensation platforms for water droplets to form. And of course, when that cold air hits that warm, moist air, it's got no other opportunity but to drop that precipitation out. And that's how we end up with 150 year, 200 year, 300 year record of rainfall in a 24 hour period. This is on the increase. The wobble is on the increase. You know, put the two two together. We're starting to see, you know, things starting to pick up. So it's well worth just paying a bit more attention to the data we collect, not simply writing off these massive changes in the numbers of the data that we collect because it could well be the very signs and even the uh, unfiltered data I keep it as it is even with the uh, certain uncertainties in there I keep it as it is so it's always stored as it was I might filter the data for the TriMac data on the website that's just to clean up the graph so that we haven't got big spikes here and there but you know we've got the data it's showing us that the 24 hour rotational wobble or the shift in the magnetic pole is getting bigger and bigger. And we're also seeing floods on the increase more and more. Put the two together, it could mean, and I say could, don't jump the gun, it could mean that it is gearing up for that larger, faster acceleration. Here's the deal. You know, I didn't want to bar you guys on YouTube from the data and I will bring it back to YouTube on only two conditions and those are that we try and restore some level of funding to at least last October that's nearly 80% of our funding that got cut in October if we can get it back to there I'll bring you know the latest magnetic pole position back to YouTube but if you want it now it's over on Patreon. Become a Patreon member for $5 a month and you can have access to that. And in fact, today we have put the latest magnetic pole position on Patreon for you. The other way we'll do it 
is if there's a significant increase in people using the PayPal link down there in the description. We will bring it back. If there is, we will bring it back to YouTube for everybody, including those that genuinely can't afford to make a single donation. Because I've always said this, and I have for the last 10 years, if you've been following me, I've kept it free from those that genuinely couldn't afford to chip in a few bucks. Because there is no way that I would take, you know, any money off anyone that couldn't genuinely afford to make a small contribution to this observatory. So, if you guys want to see it come back and you can afford to chip in either on PayPal or join us on Patreon, then I'll bring it back to YouTube for everybody. That's reasonable and fair, I think. You'll agree. If we can double the amount of patrons on Patreon, I'll bring it back to YouTube free. Or if we can raise a significantly more amount of money on PayPal, which is in the description, I'll bring it back for everybody on YouTube. So guys, there is getting back to the uh, distance in which the pole has moved, the pole, magnetic north pole has moved, it has slightly increased, I will say that. You can find out by how much if you go over to Patreon. The only th other thing for me to say is guys, you know what, it's getting worse and worse on YouTube with regards to, you know, the uh, filtering of information what people are putting on you know the censorship of course we've just come off the back of another strike can you believe and we wasn't able for a whole week to do any videos on YouTube so you know we have to really be careful what we talk about and how we talk about that but there are alternative platforms I'm just going to say that that you will find us on and if ever we disappear completely from YouTube you've only got to go to our main website poleshiftnews.com and there'll be instructions of where we've gone to from there on out guys you have a wonderful and amazing day the links are down there for both the patron I'll pin it in the comments and I'll also put it in the description and the link for the PayPal will be in the description as well the only other thing for me to say is you take care of your loved ones things are starting to show a vast movement and you know significant change as always bye for now